Greetings from Calm to Us. We are so excited to announce these new units that we're bringing to you guys very soon. 12 o'clock midnight. Tomorrow. Three weeks later. What's up guys, it's your boy Demone, aka Demotivational on Twitch, and welcome to another Summer's War video. Am I the only one that's like really angry right now? That these new units are still not out? Like Com has never, ever, ever, ever teased the unit and made us wait two weeks for it to come out. Where instead they released these challenge quests that today we're gonna talk about both the positives and the negatives about this new challenge quest update. All right guys, so first off and foremost, let's go ahead and dive on in. This is gonna be a quick video today. Um, I had initially recorded a video and I was raging and then I picked apart my own argument. <laughs> so we're gonna give you guys the brief version today. Um, so basically what happened in the update uh, is basically just filler content. They added two new challenge things here that made it easier for players to get Vero. One thing that I disagree with here, I mean, I both agree and disagree with this situation here, is that they basically give you a free, well, they give you six free legendary viral runes, which is pretty awesome in terms of helping players out. Now, the the drawback that a lot of players are going to run into, though, is they're going to, you know, force rush Vero even more so now, because now that Com has did this, it's basically solidified the step in the meta. So they're basically saying to us now, if you don't fuse Vero, you're wrong, which... I wholeheartedly disagree with it's a conversation for another time i feel that initially they were on the right path by teaching players how to progress effectively by showing stat values that you need to hit you know in terms of the quest because it puts players on the pathway so they can start to understand how stats affect your runs whereas now i feel like they took the lazy route and they're just like get vero get a vial set now vero's on vial he'll cleanse so basically you're an idiot and you can't figure out team comp so we're just going to give you a band-aid and then you can be excited about legendary vial runes so on the appreciative side, I think it's really awesome that they're giving six basically free legendary vial runes to players. On the flip side of that, it's not really helping educate players as to why they actually need Vero or what Vero does. Because in the current meta, players are just like, get Vero, you know, and once players get to a standpoint, which will happen relatively fastly if they're building their units correctly, well, if they understood how to build the units correctly, they'll have to take Vero out to improve their run speed times. And they won't really know how to do that because they've relied on Vero for so long, okay? So, that's my take on that. Now, on some other things, they added some Rift stuff, which, you know, TOA stuff, which is basically, you know, you'll get rewarded for dragons. Uh, the Rift rewards are pretty lackluster, but, I mean, it's cool that they give you some free stuff, which is nice for things that you're going to do anyway. As you ascend through the Rift ranks, you'll get rewards here, too. And then once you get up to Rift Raid level 5, uh, you'll you'll get a where are we at riff five riff five there we go you get legendary gemstones which i think is also a very good reward um you get an l and d once you clear all rifts at s ranking up so that'll be much later for a lot of players and then of course for clearing toa you get some miscellaneous rewards basically rehashes of what you get anyway other than the elemental scrolls which is pretty cool so if you want a couple of free summons just go ahead and knock out floor 70 real quick if you want a mystical scroll go ahead and clear right uh 50 and if you want uh the three elemental scrolls then go ahead and clear 100 one more time so really really awesome now my biggest complaint about this whole thing is when you look at the the challenge that they added here where is it uh the challenge that they added for necro the thing that when i look at this i don't feel that this was really really thought out i feel like the dev team looked at necro and they're like okay cool players want to do necro let's just give them some rewards and kind of make it tangible but you gave us crafting mats that don't really matter because that's you know a couple of rune crafts and that's it and you guys know how good or bad the rune rolls are okay so knowing the statistics and then giving us these shit rewards is kind of like a kick in the teeth but not that's not where i was offended like 
yeah, could the rewards have been better on some of these? Absolutely, but who cares? It, it's neither here nor there. What kind of teed me off, which which had me like rage ranting for a while <laughs> before saner minds prevailed, was that in Necropolis, it says, in Necropolis, you can get rage, will, nemesis, vampire, destroy runes, especially rage runes, which will make your monster's critical hit much more powerful. The thing that rubs me wrong about this is that if you guys sat back and you guys understand that most of the content creators are telling or just general people in the community are telling new players to do your challenge quests, okay? It's a natural part of progression, do your challenge quests. So new players are going to read this and everybody has their own perspective. Most people are probably going to read this and think that Rage Runes, again, and this takes us all the way back to the beginning of Summoner's War time, you know, back when Summoner's War started, the big argument between Rage and Fatal. You know, and and eventually came up, the consensus was, I mean, you could basically run Fatal and it doesn't matter. You don't really need Rage. I mean, Rage helps, don't get me wrong, but you could still run Fatal and be effective. So now you're going to have even more players after they read this trying to skip Giants 10, thinking that they absolutely need Rage to be effective. And if that wasn't enough, then you guys add this, this six to, after you say that, you look at the, the Clear Necropolis 10th floor and Automo reward, which gives them a six star uh, hero rune set, basically six rage runes that give that to them. So now you've solidified this erroneous thinking. So now they're going to think they need rage runes to be better, to be stronger. And now they're going to bust their necks, break their necks so they can get a, a, a Necro 10 team together to farm a rune set. To, or not even farm a rune set to get a rune set that they're not even really going to probably be able to do anything with unless they're currently farming necro or buying rune packs which i think is it's really really annoying and you guys really calm like listen man, i love you guys but you guys did not think this shit through like you guys really didn't think this shit through so it's gonna force players into a mind frame where they need to get rage runes which is is absolutely not the case at least not for a very very long time and i feel like rage is just one of those things where if you sit down and you look at the stats and you look at the rune requirements for rage to really be effective you have you have to have some really sick runes okay so now what you guys have done is you you're going to put new and beginning players and players that don't have that much experience in the game in a situation where they feel like they need to get something that is absolutely not required Kind of like you guys are doing with Vero. Now that you guys have solidified the Vero meta with the guaranteed legendary uh, five-star violent runes. Okay. Um, again, guys, if you guys are going to force feed units and force feed strategies, help your players understand why they are doing what they're doing before you just lead them blindly into a dead end. And rage runes, six star rage runes is without a method to improve. Cause let's be honest here. Majority of players are not just gonna be like, hey, you know, I'm not gonna go to Necro until I can farm replaceable rune sets, you know, so I can continue to make that rune set better. Cause I'm sure that this rune set is not the best rune set again in the game, you know? So it's, it's probably a decent rune set that they can use temporarily, but they're going to need to improve it. It's probably something to hold them over. But again, you're not providing the tools to teach them how to do it. I guess that's where us content creators come into play, but damn, like think about the things that you're putting on the paper and how it's going to affect your entire community as a whole, especially if you guys are planning on retaining more new players before you guys do this. Because what this is going to do is it's going to lead to a lot of confusion. And I get it. In sales, confusion breeds consumption. If players are confused, they're going to spend more and more and more and more money so they can fill that gap and not be confused anymore. But damn... You know, the feeling of, of accomplishment and knowing that you can crush something and wanting to crush it is an entirely different feeling than shit. I need to spend more money just so I can figure this shit out, okay? Like, come on, Calm. Like, damn. Like, this one this one here was absolutely a kick in the teeth. Um, again, other rewards were awesome. Uh, you know, some stuff that you guys, you know, put into play. I get it that you guys are adapting to, you know, whatever you guys perceive to be the current meta. Vero is the current meta. You guys are giving vile runes, giving rewards for fusing Vero, making it easier, giving fodder. Great. But like little stuff like that, guys. I mean, come on. Come on. Let, let's be honest here. You guys delay these units for two, you know, you tease the unit, which now is starting to feel like a mistake. Like somebody messed up and they weren't supposed to tease that unit that soon. And now we're waiting, uh... 
a ridiculous amount of time that we wouldn't don't normally wait for new content and now you give us filler content that's kind of hit and miss uh, i i don't understand I, I don't know maybe you guys got an opinion on this definitely let me know in the comment box below today's video definitely a short video i just really wanted to take a time and talk about this let me know what you guys think about it how do you guys feel about it what do you guys think about the rewards that they've added in the new challenge quest do you think this guy's do you do you think this is beneficial to the current player base uh or do you think are you in between or do you think it's something uh, you think it's just bs filler content let me know in the comment box below and i'll be happy to read all the comments and respond to some of them with that being said guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always it's your boy damone aka demotivational on twitch we'll see you guys in the next video peace